All right, what is up guys? Jared Campisi, welcome back to the channel. Look at this lineup we got right here. We showed up at Dotto's and he just had both bikes parked next to each other and we walked in I was just like, good God, these bikes are insane. So if you missed the last episode, uh, the Carbon V4 SP is finished. We have to wait to do a final ride on that thing. It's supposed to snow tomorrow here, or Saturday I should say, uh, one to three inches and it's gonna be super cold on Sunday, but next week it's gonna be in the 60s. So we'll be able to take these bikes out. We gotta finish braking miles on this. We'll do a final ride on that and then that build will be over. So you will have one chance left to be entered for that bike, patreon.com slash customs. That's an $80,000 limited edition full carbon v4 sp the only one in the world that i know of um, today we're going to be working on the r1m uh, if you sign up now you'll also be entered to win the r1m uh, we have a ton of incredible parts on the way from moto million and uh, i'm really really excited today we're going to be doing radiator guards and a carbon gas cap with a blue accent and um, i'm super super excited so yeah sit back relax enjoy the video all right so our first order of business dado's got to move his lift around I love that he uses a jack, a jack, a car jack. Look at this. It's so easy in fact. <laughs> and look, I'm to turn it down Leave it to Dotto. He, he was doing this the last episode with the Panigale on there, but he had it up even higher. And the, the, imagine just seeing like an $80,000 full carbon Panigale just being Seriously. pushed around. I was like, is this safe, Dotto? <laughs> He's like, I do it all the time. I was like, that doesn't mean it's safe. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna move the lift over. We're gonna get the R1 up on the lift and uh, get it ready for battle. Look at these bikes, dude. Look at these bikes. There's nowhere else on the internet you can go to be entered to win bikes like, like these. And that was my whole goal from the beginning. Give people a chance to win a dream motorcycle that they probably couldn't have afforded otherwise. And we've been doing that. This is our 11th motorcycle now. Oh. I'm proud to announce. So yeah, that's, that's, that's freaking awesome. So, all right, let's get it up on the lift. All right, up she goes. I'm really excited for this build. Um, I think I'm most excited for the exhaust to put on this thing, because right now it sounds like a, a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> so yeah, full titanium exhaust is on the way. We've got tons of carbon fiber. Build plans for this bike, I, I want to keep the paint scheme and just accent it. So parts that we can replace with carbon, we will. Uh, frame covers, these. Uh, we're gonna keep wheels colored. I think we're gonna do colored wheels uh, with the blue, uh, I think, um, Marcassini aluminum, forged aluminum wheels. And then, yeah, just keep it. We're gonna do all glossy carbon. We're gonna keep paint schemes on this and just continue to accent it so it'll look totally different than that bike. And it is a totally different bike too. So yeah, I'm really, really excited for this. And I think when we get things replaced like brakes and grips and handlebars and the exhaust, like I said, and the tune, I think this bike is gonna be freaking insane. All right, the, uh, the, the coveted unboxer, Christina Khalil, is here to provide us with her incredible services. Um, that's, we don't need today. Remember? Do not. What are we doing? Yes. What are we doing, teens? Doing gas cap. Gas cap and radiator and guards. Radiator guards. This is gonna be sick. I was getting ahead of myself because yeah. I love blacked out or tinted out. Okay. Windscreens. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it too. comes in a little. We'll do that in the future. It's like a. Uh, it's like a diamond. It's a little in trinket, here. right? Yeah. They know what they're doing over there. I mean, so again, huge experience. shout out to Incredible. Manny at Moto Million for sponsoring this build series. <gasps> yeah, that look at that. So yeah, so that's what we're doing. Carbon, glossy carbon with blue accents for the whole build. Oh. Yeah. Hey, it's gonna that's be. That's kind of what I'm doing for my. Yeah, you are. F you're doing glossy carbon with blue accents for your. Accents. Well, you're doing blue and red. Blue, blue yeah, and red, yeah. But it's gonna be blue. Dotto, you see that? Yeah, teens. What's your discount code? <laughs> it's Khalil. Uh -huh. Use Khalil to save yourself some money. No, I just punched her in the nose. How cool is that, Dotto? Maybe. You what can that fix you punched it. her in the nose? Yeah, wow, that's both things. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you can fix it for me. Uh huh. Um, okay, and then radiator guards, right? Yeah. They're, okay. They're deep in there. We can get a good view of what's going on back here in the meantime. So it's weird because okay. this already has the lower guard, so I'm not sure if we're gonna Does take it? that off or re what do you mean? reuse it. See oh, how there's yeah. see how it already no, this different. This is smaller. This is smaller. It already we, comes with a guard. No, but it, they're big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're gonna want them to match. You don't yeah. like and it. You want the I'm smaller. not sure if they come off. We'll see. The smaller weave. I would is think so. Better. Hey, Dada will find a way. Yeah, it's if they don't, Dada will find yeah, a way. Look at that. The difference. Probably most of the same. In sizes. It out. 
It would just be weird if you had the top a different one. And the reason why I wanted to do this now, it's kind of a boring upgrade. Unfortunately, it's very necessary. Since we've only got 100 miles on it, before we get rocks thrown into that thing, Especially because in uh, yeah, be winter, exactly, because there's so many rocks and cinders all over the road, and we have to put a few hundred more miles on this probably next week. I wanted to get these on beforehand so we don't get any problems yeah, with the radiator. Good. Teens move because he's about to ra raise that. Yeah, your knee would have got wrecked. It's like my crotch. Look at that, right? Oh, perfect. Right by yes. my crotch. Well, you got time. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. So thank you very much, Teener Wieners. Everyone's excited to see you on your bike. Maybe next week. Oh. Maybe it's gotta get lowered first. Yeah, so I next week we can get it lowered and then you can come out riding with us. How oh. sick would that be? Was the last oh time my that? gosh, it's been a while. It's been a long time. All right, so I guess we're starting with the radiator guards. Thank you, teens. I appreciate it. All right, so uh, there's no directions with these. I believe we just got to take off the two side fairings, and then we should be able to get in there and do whatever we need to do. No, I can't pass it. Dotto was saying that these are, you, you can explain they're it. They're called Zeus fasteners, so they're like quarter turn. They snap right out. A lot of race applications have them. Um, believe it or not, my, my 05 had these on there. That is so cool. And uh, I was like, Jared, I hope these are, and I turned, it, turned this little guy with my finger, and it came right out. This super fast makes life so yeah. much easier and, you're gonna be in heaven dude. here's another thing though not just that they're easy and I, and I will explain one thing that's awesome about these so these are designed to they draw the fairing tight uh -huh. and then they click click in place uh -huh. but it's the perfect amount of tension so you don't over over tension or under, under ah. them. so it, once they click in place they're like the absolute so it's like click 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 done that's fucking insane yeah. okay so we're gonna go around and uh, remove all of these one two three four and then there's some there's uh, clips in here yeah and even those clips are like, yeah even those are pop out rivet push the center they pop right uh-huh it's fucking insane dude good for you japanese all right so he got all of the quick fasteners off and well i guess they're bolts this look at is the that. fastener yeah look at that he's using the, a dentist tool in the case you're wondering please. what that is take take note here this is how you do a it. a second to pull that fastener how crazy out. is that how many are there there should be two right i think there's one there and one down down there, yep. pop that, pull it out. And then that should be ready to come off. We've never taken these off before, so it's interesting. But this is crazy how much simpler yeah. it is. There is some hardware down here. Underneath? Yeah. Oh, okay. There's one. It looks like a lightsaber right now. <laughs> what does? Your light. Uh, <laughs> looks it like a lightsaber. Wow. But once we're ready to pull these off, I'll film. Okay, so he's starting disassembly right now. There's a clip in the front. Yep, you that's need to be really ass. careful about. I told They're him. They're really like, easy to I'm break. Like, that's the one thing that I stress These about. These two the right here. Yes. Yeah. This is hooked back, and then this clamps and it holds it tight in place. And I always panic because I'm like, please don't snap. Well, now you know how to do it. I mean, I, I gotta say that was probably one of the fastest fairing removals I've ever seen. Look how light this is, seriously. <laughs> I like the ones we put on the, yeah. the carbon V4. Yeah, okay, so that's one side, and we'll definitely be removing this and replacing it. Um, it's nice that it does come with that, but it doesn't match with the other one, so we'll just be replacing it. And like that. Teen said, like these holes are really big. Bigger, so, which they would stop. Yeah, that's Right, true. but this was this is gonna stop, stop a lot even smaller. More. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And it's not too small where it doesn't let enough yeah. air. Hey, you know they have titanium headers from, from factory too? Ah, oh, those are awesome. Pretty, pretty amazing. Look We're gonna be replacing them anyway. Is. Yeah. Okay, let's do the other side. All right, left hand side, coming off. Hey, there's, there's stones. So yeah, I was gonna say there's already. Remember, I, yeah, there's a lot of stones on the road right now. So I'm, like I said, I'm glad we're doing these now. There you go, dude. Look at that. Holy crap! Is that the ECU control uh, unit? Something. That is uh, HID controller. Oh, oh, okay. For the headlights. Dude, look how nice and neat that is. Uh huh. That, that, that makes right my there. OCD very happy. Uh huh. Gosh, it, but doing, I was telling Jared, doing the exhaust on look this. Look at is all the be... room. Look at the yeah, oil filter. Right. Everything is so fully accessible. It makes me happy. You it's know? it's pretty nice. It's refreshing. You know. I See remember in the Ducati, you couldn't put a piece of paper. Oh no. Here, uh -uh. You know? No. You had to take the front wheel off, the radiator off. <laughs> Do the headers? Yeah. It's so ridiculous. And the R1's like, oh turbo. How about twin turbo? Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're ready. Yeah. So since people complain, I'm the, I never do anything around here. I'm gonna show you guys how to remove a stock. Oil. <laughs> Guard. Look at that. That's funny. Does this look like yours? Does yours have one of these? No. It doesn't? Come on. Oh. Mine doesn't even use oil. Wait, you never even put radiator guards uh, on yours at all? No, hell no. <laughs> it doesn't use oil. <laughs> okay, so that's that. Now we can probably fit the top one first and then go. Yeah, we gotta we gotta fit the top one and then work our way down. Okay, sounds good. 
Yeah, look, this one's gonna fit the same exact. Go ahead, Jarrett. Do some work. Look, he he's installing something. I'm have, getting it on video. Look, they even have little rubber pieces on it, dude. I think I could start working on Yamahas, dude. Hell yeah. <laughs> Actually, there's foam over there. Oh yeah. That keeps it from it. vibrating. It from, well, to be honest. Yeah, the bottom one probably the won't need it, but the top one will. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, cool. I'll let you take it over. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna fit the top one now. In order to do that, there's a um, bolt in there that basically holds the radiator to the bike. Well, I guess to the bottom oil cooler, but anyway. <clears throat> it's a mounting bracket. Yeah, look at that. So he's gotta get in there, remove that, and then the actual guard itself has a little that right there is where, where it attaches, and then they want you to use zip ties on the top of these things here that, atop, that attach way up, way up in there. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. That's gonna be a bitch, so I'm not sure how he's gonna do that. That's gonna be fun to figure out. Dado's biggest problem yeah. is these fucking It's the sausage fingers. <laughs> but before we do that, before we go any further, we're gonna bust out the birthday Glenn Livett that I got him, the 18. And I noticed too, I was just telling Dado, look at this. It even matches the bike. I didn't do that on purpose, but I like that it that it matches. You wanna do the honors, bud? Are we smoking it? No, I just want it straight. Then I don't think I want ice. Oh, oh yeah, my bad. Okay, you wanna smoke it then? <laughs> I already put the ice in there, you know what I mean? And also, Dotto did sell out of all of the limited edition Carbon V4 SP smoker kits. We'll drink to that. So we're drinking to that. Thank you guys so much for the, the support. The amount of support. Is oh, dude, insane. he's been selling stupid amounts. I of wake stuff. up and it's like <laughs> orders flying in. I'm like, oh, I, feel I love bad. it. I'm like, I, I'm like, hey, so it's gonna be a while. I told know? him my goal was to make him so busy that he doesn't know what to do with himself. That's insane. And then people like order these, and then yeah. they go back and order the whole set. And now he has ones that you can put Campisi Custom or Dotto Made or both on mm -hmm. there. So they're they're gonna be up on the site as well. Just a lot of cool stuff going on. So we got some uh, hicker. Oh, by the way, a couple of things coming. Mm -hmm. Ready? We're gonna do larger containers with the wood chips. You oh, can nice. order extra refills. Yeah. And uh, I'm trying to stock up and do other types of hardwoods. Nice. You know, nice. Cherry yeah, 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 yeah. Like that. So awesome. We're gonna be doing that. I do love how these turned out, though. The finish on these, so freaking cool. Since everybody likes to drink with us when we watch, or when they watch the videos, look at that. Doesn't get any better. One of the supporters that order these, he's like, I can't believe how well that works. Uh -huh. And he's like sending me pictures and stuff, and I'm like, yep, told you. Yep. It's not bullshit. We don't bullshit on here. We keep it real. Hey, we can actually use the, I brought oh, yeah. these down. Oh yeah, perfect. We used them last time. Yeah, so so these are, I make them specifically for my whiskey set glasses, yeah. and they're specific size, but the, these are a little bigger. Yeah, here but they actually work. They still do. Yeah, so I may just, Throw That's some up for some. Freaking <laughs> awesome. Yeah, you should sell these by the, on their own. Yeah. In case, or you could sell them with the kits too. What we need is like, I'm going to do like a, a, you know, dozer's face or something. Yes. You know, with like sunglasses. The manager. The manager, yeah. I know. We're going to do more stuff. I want to eventually maybe try to do some apparel and things like that too. It's just a lot of logistics. So, all right, that. Well, let's smoke these. Yeah, it's incredible. And then uh, we'll do some drinking and get back to work. All right, <clears throat> it's that time. Look at that, look how cool that is. Cheers, Dotto, cheers to all of you. Thanks to teens for the glasses. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And uh, thanks to all of you for the support. Somebody's gonna be getting a brand new, not brand new, but a full carbon Panigale V4 SP. It is brand new. In a couple weeks, it is pretty much It's just gonna new. be ridden a little bit. It barely has the break-in miles on it. Anyway, cheers, folks. All right, so we were actually just test fitting it and it was slid in there perfectly and it was kind of a bitch to get. And then we realized it's not a Ducati, so. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I think we're just gonna keep it. And then I have no clue how Dotto, that looks really nice, dude. Just blocks everything out. Now the radiator's nice and protected. Yeah. Just how we like it, always use protection. Uh, pull out method is only 75% effective. <laughs> That's how you get little radiators And if you around. pull out, guys, <laughs> make sure you hammer on it hard. Oh, so you don't get side swiped. <laughs> anyway, he's entering the bolt right okay. there, and then um, we'll get with, the zip ties the, in the top. I gotta tighten it with that biggest wrench. That's I a could normal find. size wrench, if you can believe it. <laughs> First zip tie went in, and <laughs> that was not easy with those sausage fingers. It's crazy how dexterous those big sausages are. You know, they really they move well. 
So anyway, that's the first zip tie. That's what's holding the top in. There's no screws or anything up there. So the zip tie is gonna keep that top part up there. It doesn't really feel like We're it's just gonna leave it anywhere. Here. Perfect, let that bitch rattle around. Then we gotta do the same thing on the other side and the top will be done. All right, so we got the other zip tie cut off on that side. It, the top one is completely connected and is perfect fit. Mm -hmm. It's not going anywhere. So now we can slide on the bottom one yet again. Yeah, this this just slides over the uh, isolators, like mm -hmm. the rubber ones, yep. or I guess they're silicone or whatever they're made out of. Yeah. And then when we put the fairings on, the bolts are going to hold this tight. So yeah. this is actually going to. So that's be all you do for well. insulation for that one. That's it. That's pretty freaking awesome. Now, the the, the zip ties are, were a bitch. It's going to take us four seconds to put. <laughs> <laughs> It'll take a little bit because there's a lot of them. Yeah, that's pretty epic. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. All right, uh, side fairing going back on. All right, so the number one tab that breaks on these, actually two of them, is this guy right here uh -huh. and that guy right there. Yeah. So this you don't have to worry about, these two. Yeah. This is the biggest one. So you want to make sure this hooks it slides on. back. Yes, it hooks Does that off. slide in with this one then too? And then this one clips in. So uh -huh. the first one slides in there, uh -huh. and then the second one clips in up front. Okay. So you kind of, that's the most that's crucial the part. That's the most important part. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez Louise. Okay, so we got everything fit in. Basically, once you press this in, it's kind of nice because then the fairing hangs there and you can line everything else up. This part in here you want to be careful with. It's got to go kind of like up under and then in right here in between the two things. And then he had to get that lined up right there as well. He's going to basically what? Just put in the rear one? Yeah, I'm so thinking gonna hang there. put the rear one in so it doesn't... You don't want the carbon going, going anywhere and, and, and uh, scratching anything. Yeah. So that... That is crazy. Done deal. That is so cool. Why is not uh, every manufacturer I, doing that? It makes no sense not to me. Not just for like your mechanic working on it or yourself taking stuff apart. Dude, look how tight that is. Yeah, Feel I that. know. I know. It's they work really well. Okay. Now, the only thing I gotta figure out is if this is. Back oh, here. There's there a little right. tab right there. You gotta slide up uh, over. Yeah. Let me take that back out. So now we know. See what happens when there's you're sober, one other kids. tab right there. Yeah. When you're sober. <laughs> All right, left side going on. He went ahead and put uh, a bunch of the fasteners in on this side. God, it looks so incredible. Um, and then he's starting with the same thing, getting all those locked in. Then you just slide it forward once you have it in the right spot. And then there are some tabs down here. See those two little tabs right there? You have to line those up as well. Oh, you need some help. Okay, so radiator guards are in. Everything's good there. And I should say radiator and oil cooler guards. That's like put back together. Next thing we're doing is the uh, gas cap. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that corrosion. What are you going to do? Brand new bike. Damn Japs. <laughs> so we're going to take the whole cap, the stock cap off first, and then see what all we need to reuse. We have all of our stuff here laid out for the new uh, fuel cap, and we'll go from there. Okay, stock cap coming off. Look at that. Perfect. And then I noticed right away, look at the welds on that. That's literally perfect that, well that, do you look at that that has to be a machine right no a person did that yeah There's his name is machine <laughs> all right so we just got off the phone with my Annie, miami manny mm -hmm. <laughs> so i'm getting my resume ready i'm yeah, out of this he was bitch. explaining some stuff um no so basically what you need to do is um you want to reuse the rubber piece off of the uh, you want to explain what you did dotto yeah so First of all, don't don't let Jared ever tell you that we're missing pieces. There is a O-ring that yeah. fits here. It's yes. actually a flat washer gasket, mm -hmm. but that's got to go on first. Okay. This is the OEM um, little molded um, rubber, rubber piece, piece yeah. and that makes everything look nice on yeah. top. Yeah, it so fills that gap. Exactly. Then we have these three little uh, little spacers. aluminum spacers, these posts, and then you you put the bolts through and then you put the o-rings on there little but one. this one here pushes out like that mm -hmm. and what that does is push the gasket out and it makes it look funky so what i did was i took a surgical blade and went in and cut that out and that allows it okay to so that's flat, the crux of the right? problem if you guys order this also yeah. this is a little breather tube and it mm -hmm. needs to go in that hole however if you force it on and it kinks it yep. it's not going to do its job so make sure that you Push it in as far as you can and then align these. Okay. Afterwards. And then so. we tighten it down. Yeah. Always. Look at that. Yeah. Always Dude, make sure. I love these. These are such a I cool know. piece that just makes your bike so unique. And I love not having to use your key to open this. Now, some people might worry about somebody putting something in your gas tank, but 
the only people who are gonna know that this is a quick release are people who are motorcycle riders, and most motorcycle riders stick together. Look at that. Now, that I always... Epic. Hey, can we take the sticker off too? Yes, I thread these in by hand because, mm -hmm. well, we all know about cross-threading bullshit. So we took the sticker off this and cleaned it, and it looks... I, I don't know what it is, but I love gas caps like the quick release with the blue so sick so this just gives you a little bit of an idea of what I wanted to do with this bike which was keep the blue and the silver and the black scheme accent it with carbon and more blue parts Dado's over here trying to get this I can't sticker I off. can't dude this sticker is like really on there what are we gonna do it's it's actually like they spent money do you have goo gone oh my goo is gone <laughs> all right those big sausage fingers are doing their doing their job look He's getting his, oh yeah, that makes me happy. A little there, bit of residue though. Yeah. Kind of blew it there at the end there. But no, you're the one that blew it. You blew it. Look at how much better that looks. Two little mods, a beautiful tank. No, what is this called? Gas, <laughs> a beautiful gas cap and oh, removing, you're hammered. A, removing the sticker from the tank. You tried to fire me early. And look at the difference. You are fired. Screw you, you're fired. <laughs> All right, so here's a little pro tip for you guys. If you have some residue that you can't get off and you don't want to scratch your clear coat, an eraser works really, really well. You want to use a quality eraser, like typically does, what are those pink erasers? Yeah, called? I know what you're talking about. Um, but that, this is all we got, so check it out. You just wipe off the Look excess. Look at that. Perfect. Don't use your nails, kids. Yeah, don't use your nails because it will scratch the clear coat. All right, that's freaking epic. I love it. Done, okay, though. so that's it for this video. We got the radiator and oil cooler guards installed along with the beautiful TWM gas cap from Manny at Modal Million. Use code CAMPEASY, save yourself some money. Also removed the uh, stupid warning sticker and we'll take more stickers off in the future. Put it under the seat like we always do. Uh, don't forget, one last chance to be entered to win our full carbon Panigale V4 SP. Patreon.com slash Customs. You'll also be entered to win our Yamaha R1M. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.